Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this video, we're gonna show how to use Breakdance AI to translate your content. We already have Breakdance AI set up, so we're not gonna go over that in this video. Instead, we're gonna look at our content right below the Our Menu heading. We'd like to translate this to a different language. One of the easiest ways to do this is to open the Breakdance AI button, go to Settings, then in our qualifiers, we can tell OpenAI what language we would like this to be translated to. In this case, we're going to translate to Spanish. Now, when we go over here and click our text element, we can do one click rewrite, and we can insert a Spanish translation of this text. Using qualifiers seems to be the easiest way to translate content. You can choose to say translate in whatever language in English, or you can even just use that native language. So if we want to translate to German, we just add that, and then we go and we do the one click rewrite again. We'll now see that this content has been translated from Spanish to German in this case, but we can translate from one language to the other. Now it's also possible to use macros to translate your content. For example, let's say we wanna add a macro that says Spanish, and we'll say translate the following text to Spanish, and we'll add the text field. Now let's say we want to add another language. In this case, we'll use an Elvish language from Lord of the Rings, and we'll just update that prompt. Now when we go over to our text element and we click the Breakdance AI button, we can now see the different translation macros available, and we can just click those, and OpenAI will return that desired language to us. So these are just a few ways that you can use qualifiers and macros to change the language of your content using Breakdance AI.